Okay, hello everyone. This is our first screencast on eye defects. And to help us get around, I'm going to use a little highlighter, um, which I'll hopefully I can use to show what I'm talking about. So this should be highlighting the word eye and defects, and that will just uh, let you know where, we, where we're going. All right. So we're going to talk about, um, firstly, problems with vision and how they can be corrected uh, using glasses. And you need to know that about the... Um, the two kinds of lenses, we know they're convex and concave, but you need to be able to recognize that there's, there's not just a one convex lens that we're familiar with, which is the biconvex. There's also other kinds called the planoconvex and concavoconvex. Okay, they're all the same, they all are fatter in the middle than on the edges, which makes them uh, convex lenses. And similarly, you need to know that there are three kinds of concave lenses. There's the one, the biconcave, that we draw which is thinner in the middle and the thinner this time in the middle and the edges. But there's also something called a plano concave with one flat side and a convexo concave, which you might get confused with with concavo convex, but it's the same general rule that it's thinner in the middle section than it is at its edge section. Okay. All right. Um, two kinds of, of defects that we're going to look at um, are one called myopia, uh, and another name for that is short-sightedness. And an easy way to remember this is that in, in myopia, or short-sightedness, the image falls short, okay? So it doesn't actually go and hit the retina at the back of the eye. The lenses aren't, or are focusing it too strongly, I should say, and aren't putting it, uh, the focused image, on the lens, on the retina, sorry. Um, and so it falls short. Short-sightedness, the image falls short. And so how do you correct that? You want it to fall a bit longer to push it back towards the, the retina. So you use a concave lens, which remember is a, um, a diverging lens. Okay, and it, what that does is the rays are pushed out further. They, they um, diverge before they hit the lens. And then the lens brings them in, but it has further to bring them in, and so they eventually end up focusing in the right spot, okay? And the other uh, condition we need to um, remember is sort of the opposite, called hyperopia, or more commonly, long-sightedness. And you can remember this one by just thinking that the image in long-sightedness falls long. It falls actually too far, and it would, would occur on the other side of the, um, beyond the retina. Okay, and how do you fix that? Well, you make, you make the... Um, rays start to already come in, start to focus in, start to converge before they hit the lens of the eye. How do you do that? You do that with a converging lens or a convex lens. And that means that the image is brought forward so that it actually focuses on the back of the retina. Okay. Um, the two other things that I want to talk about. Uh, one's uh, cataracts and that's really when the lens becomes cloudy. So here's, a, here's an eye, and you can actually see you can't really see the, you can't see through into the black space inside the eye, the pupil, as you'd normally see it, because there's this cloudy lens. And this is kind of what the person has, normal vision. And if you've got that cloudy lens, you're basically blocking a lot of light getting in. It's quite, um, quite a defect. And the, uh, the second condition you need to just remember is the color blindness, okay? Um, and that's... Um, reduction in color vision which are caused by defects in either the red, blue or green cone receptors, those light receptors in the retina. Okay, And there are, you might have seen this before, there are a number of tests, um, color blindness tests. We'll just have a quick look at that uh, website. And if you go to the that, that link there, you can scroll down and there's a few sites really to say what number do you see. So here's one, number two, um, you should have seen a number eight. If you're normal, or three if you've got blindness, okay? Or nothing with total blindness. Um, pick a few more. How about number six, plate number six here? What number do you see there? Should see number 15. And one more, I always have trouble with this one. Uh, number 13, plate number 13. Do you see a number there? 73. So um, you can go to that website and have a look. All right, that's uh, the end of this screencast.